All right, so I get questions sometimes on how we can efficiently find where the big whale transactions are when looking at the overall crypto landscape. You might have your eye on Bitcoin, of course, because Bitcoin is always puppeteering the rest of the way crypto goes. But if you're an altcoin trader and you can't, you can't quite figure out which uh, asset you may want to jump into next or jump out of, there are some great resources on sentiment to be able to quickly identify where the action is happening at any time. For me, I made a little model myself uh, using the Sandsheets tool. You don't have to use it yourself. You can always copy the models that people like myself have made and see exactly what I'm seeing and get real-time updates as long as you're on a trial or you've got a Sandbase Pro membership yourself. Um, only $49 a month. Shout out to our Sandbase Pro members. It's very affordable. Um, with that said, I use this model as a quick way to gauge where we're at and where the money is kind of traveling. And lately, we can see where these big long bars are. I know it's kind of a small font. I can zoom in a little bit, but I'm trying to just give you the whole lay of the full model here. But essentially, the way this works is you see these black bars that actually label the amounts of a whale transaction. This means it's the current day. All these other current bars are any of the past six days. Teal is one day ago, orange two days ago, green three days ago, yellow four days ago, red five days ago, and blue six days ago. So if you see one of these bars, for example, this one for Axie Infinity, I highlight it and it's uh, four days ago from today. If I go to this orange one, this is two days ago. If I go to this blue one, this is, uh, looks like off the axis here, but it's Matic and you can of course see the amount 79K six days ago. So I'm curious what the ones are that have happened today. So Curve, for example, had a $4.3 million transaction today. Audius, 1.9 million. Obviously massive amounts of money, but we're looking for the really big juicy transactions. And we see a few more over here. Uh, 1.9 million for storage and an $8.8 .8 million transaction for STPT. So I would be very interested to see what's going on with STPT. Um, and then this huge one here that's off the axis. You can see it's so off the axis that my uh, label for the amount isn't even showing, but this is Tether. And this is a $1 billion approximately transaction. I know this because I opened up Sandbase and I went to top transaction tables. You can, you can see I just started to type in the word and I clicked on top transaction table, added it to my chart area over here. And then I just sorted from the largest to smallest over the past month. This model, by the way, is looking at top transactions for the past three months. And on any of these days, the past seven days that we see a top three transaction it's going to show up here. If it's not a top three transaction over the past three months, then it's not going to bother. That way, this chart doesn't get too noisy. If we have like a top 10 transaction, it's just going to be tons and tons of bars everywhere and it'll be way too much. So that was kind of my judgment call. Of course, if you copy this model, you can change it to top 10, top 30. Um, it's a, a pretty intuitive model. Uh, in my opinion, but I know people who create the things always say that. So take that with a grain of salt, but I'm always happy to help you out on Discord or even drop a comment if you're trying to set yours up and you want to customize something. Um, we're always very responsive and I, I would love to help anyone out. All right, so going back here, Tether, September 15th. This is actually a time zone adjustment, by the way. This is today um, and it's a $1 billion transaction and we can actually see that it is a Central exchange withdrawal from Bitfinex. Shout out to our labels team who've, who've made significant strides over the past year or so in giving any of these addresses a label, uh, especially the ERC-20 addresses, of course. So we know it's a, a withdrawal from a centralized exchange and it's going to a centralized exchange. So uh, what's interesting here, see, it says cold wallet. This was a contract wallet. So I believe this is still a centralized 
exchange wallet go into another centralized exchange wallet. And we can confirm that from another feature I added, which is this color coding system. Um, there is a green square, which you don't see very often, and that would represent, yeah, pretty much all of these look like they're uh, exchange to exchange right now. So a green square would mean that it's from an exchange to a non-exchange uh, address, which is typically good for the asset and uh, would be kind of a bullish signal. Yellow and orange are basically exchange to exchange or non-exchange to non-exchange respectively. And then every once in a while, you might see a red square as well, which would mean that it's a non-exchange wallet going to an exchange, which is a bearish signal, meaning there's a high likelihood that a sell-off might be uh, occurring in the near future. So there's a color coding system there, but the labeling system is pretty good as well. So if you use this model, just to quickly gauge like where a whale transaction is, I recommend going to Sandbase, opening the top transactions table, just type in the first few words of it, or letters of it that is, open this up, sort by value, and you'll quickly see the transaction that this model is referring to, and you'll see the labels indicating what the initial address was and what the recipient address was. And you can, of course, even open up the transaction hash and see uh, exactly what the transaction was and the details of it. Verifying that I'm human. Ether, ether scan 18 hours ago. Transfer $1 billion. You can see, I, I would assume this is a, kind of a fee difference. Actually, what I think it is, is the uh, conversion between dollar and USDT, which means that USDT just has a slight edge over dollar right now. Uh, but you got the idea. You can open up the Ether scan. And I had a few other examples I pulled up too. So render here, uh, if I go alphabetically, look at this giant render bar. This happened four days ago. So I can see the transaction here. It is a $50 million transaction and it's a contract. It's also from a top 100 whale. So one of the 100 largest addresses on the render network. Um, and it also mentions, mentions that it's not on exchanges. And it went to this unlabeled address, which does happen. It's, you'll notice since we're no longer on Tether, uh, there's a little more anonymity when it comes to where some of these addresses are located. Uh, I'm curious if I open up the transaction hash, if there's anything here. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really tough to gauge what this address is. And unfortunately, we don't have the labeling for it, but you can see many others were. So, for example, this exact same amount went to a bridge centralized exchange withdrawal wallet. It's a contract it's actually got quite a few different labels and, and I won't go into the investigating of exactly what it means. Um, and one more example here, wrapped Bitcoin, where I can see that in this case, the transaction that happened a couple days ago was the second largest over the past month. And it was from a decentralized exchange to an Aave contract uh, address. And it's also a top 100 wallet on the wrapped Bitcoin network. So I find that quite fascinating as well. There's a lot of golden nuggets like this where you can see it and really start to make some educated presumptions as to what this means for the future of that asset or even, you know, the entire crypto sector at large, especially with wrapped Bitcoin, which is very tied to Bitcoin itself, obviously. So that's just a little summary. I wanted to show off this model because we haven't talked about it in a while and I still think it's a nice hidden gem, especially when markets are chopping like this and you might be looking for little edges here and there to make some money through some altcoin trading. Uh, look no further than our top transactions model. The link for it is in the bio and uh, I hope you check it out, guys. Cheers.